has to be on it. Yeah. Especially hard work. Um, with respect to all the stakeholders, Nananum Methodist School, Principal Construction, and everybody, whole family, Methodist School especially, for your support and for your help with this part from two projects. I want to say a special thank you to the Ghana Platform to volunteers whose support, whose effort, whose hard work is unprecedented to why we are here today. I salute you. Um, I want to single out one person. This person has been my special friend, my best friend. She's somebody who has stood by my side when I need a friend most. It's a privilege having that person in my life. And I want to say big thank you to the only first lady in this house, Mr. Oyakuto. It will be waste of our time and waste of our resources to dwell so hard and build the schools and you don't end up sending your children to school. So Nananum, parents, elders, the only thing you can do for us, education is now very, very important in this world. And for me, I think the best investment you can ever make in this world is to invest in the life of your children. So please, why to inculcate the habit of schooling to your children? The G people say, if a brother here can see open on the time, you think so. If you want your child to be someone great, you have to try to impart that habit in him while he's young. So please and please try and send your children to school. And for the young people, we are the future leaders. We are the world, we are the children. We are supposed to make it a better place. So let's start. It is very, very heartbreaking. If upon all our tools and our hard work, and you don't end up going to school, I urge everybody here to please take your education very seriously and make something substantial out of your life so that the tools that your parents are starting day in day out to make sure that they are investing their resources into you will not go into vain. The last but not the least, the platform to volunteers. The road we gained was long. There were ups and downs. But our ability to come this far was not by the might and strength of who we are, but by the true humility that we share as a group. It was a wonderful family, and I'm very privileged to be part of this family. And to some of us who have still got a lot to learn about ourselves, we are all adults. We've done what we could do, despite the fact we could have done better. It was one creed that brought all of us together. The creed and the anthem that some people wait for change to happen. Other people volunteer. We choose to use our lifespan, 10 weeks of our lifespan, to volunteer to make a difference. And luckily enough, we've been able to be selected as the ambassador of change and given the platform to change the world. And ask yourself, was my position on that platform, was it really mission accomplished? Did I fulfill my life? Did I play my role on that platform very well? If you haven't, I'm glad to call yourself. This is our moment as young people, and this is our time. And I feel like if everybody here, Nananum, teachers, children, if everybody can do something little in his own small world to make the world a better place, we should all try to brighten the corner where we are. Thank you very much. <laughs>